And there it is. Glenn, how are you doing? Hey, it's Pastor Rick there. Trying to get started. Had some massive, massive internet failure uh, again. Uh, so that's why it took me so long to get started here. But we're live on Block Talk Radio uh, 1 and 3 here. Uh, and what did I say? Uh, Spreaker 1 and 3 are back up on 3, of course. And then Block Talk Radio is with us today as well. Radio.co UK as well as that. So I got my coffee ready to go. Bible scriptures ready to go. Uh, we are going to go live, my friends. Again, well, for a, uh, it's been a while. Uh, we're going to go live on uh, Restream TV. I decided to go ahead and try a live video, uh, even with the uh, internet issues that I've been having. So bear with me. Just getting a few things straightened out before we hit that live button. Uh, we are going to be actually live too, as well as uh, or on actually um, Twitch TV, LinkedIn X, and more. So let's see if I can get something rolling here. Uh, <laughs> so many problems already starting off. Uh, it hasn't been good, but hey, anyway, I'm I'm going to fight through it. We are here. Welcome, my friends. Let's uh, let's see what is going on with that channel okay so let's see we want that all right it's going well uh pull up monitors here of course so there it is and uh, let's see so spreaker you guys are here let's uh see if we can't get live uh on <laughs> i'm gonna try it again uh let's see so let's try our intro here if i can if it's gonna cooperate with me a little slow a little sluggish here so bear with me, guys. Uh, let me pull up uh, the Restream TV here. So it's going to be a little bit delayed uh, as, again, I've been having some major problems with the channels uh, not cooperating and not doing so well. So anyway, let's uh, let's see what we can do here. And uh, let's, uh, let's see what we can try here. So let's go live. Hit that button. And... Hopefully, it'll be connecting. All right, let's see what we got. Amen, friends. Give me a minute. We're going to try this again. <laughs> Live on the air. Let's see what we got. Is it live? That's the question. How you doing, folks? Uh, bear with me. Um, <laughs> I got problems already starting on the program here. Uh, hang on. Let me uh, get a couple of volume level checks here. You're live on the air. Restream TV. Uh, Pastor Rick here, Ministry Podcast Network for the 12th of the month. And I have been having a really, really bad uh wi-fi uh connections here and i i just don't understand uh it's supposed to be a higher speed internet so we'll see what goes on here let me see if i can get this going amen so bear with me guys live on twitch hold that thought uh let me see if i can get something going here um, all right bear with me guys hold on uh, trying to connect into the internet program here. I don't know if that's uh, live, but uh, we're going to see what we can do here. And... All right, so that's good there. Huh. All right, well, come on in. Bring your Bibles. Church is on. Doors are open. It is Friday, the 12th of the month of July here. Uh, a little after 4 o'clock, again, having massive, massive internet issues already. Almost just shut this down. But I'm going to try it. Uh, as I'm just trying to get monitors, I want to make sure everything's volume-wise is okay here. Uh, but I, I'm not even able to connect, so bear with me on this. Uh, it is it's just it's connected, so... Uh, all right, well, I've got the monitors. Let's try it, friends. Uh, welcome. 
Good to see you finally back on the uh, on the live program here. Uh, again, I've been having massive internet problems. I don't know why. I don't get it. Anyway, come on in. Doors are open. Church is on. Bring your Bibles and your coffee, of course. Uh, welcome, and uh, I'm glad you're here. Ministry Podcast Network. Uh, Pastor Rick here on an early Friday, early afternoon here. Uh, well, I guess it's late afternoon. I looked it up and Googled it, and it's late afternoon. So let's pray it in, and let's just get to it. I can't uh, dial in on my on my monitors here, so I don't know what is happening. Uh, it says that it's completely off, and uh, I don't know. <laughs> just massive problem. So come on in. Let's go uh, get some uh, church today, and, uh, well, we'll see. Um, you know, we'll just... Get the program and get going. Got our notes. Got everything kind of set up here. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm real quick here. I'm going to reset uh, channel four because of uh, the connection. Just said it was off. So anyway, let's pray it in. Heavenly Father. Oh, Heavenly Father. Thank you. I give you thanks, glory, honor right now for the opportunities that I get to do this podcast and speak this message. Uh, as we read the Bible today and uh, look at the uh, look at the word here. So thank you for that. Thank you for everybody here watching, hearing, listening, and everybody connected, family, friends, brothers and sisters out there uh, on their trials, you know, on their trials and tribulations and their situations, Father God. Uh, you are the way, the only way. And we glorify you right now. And, and again, just always humbled and grateful for the opportunities I get here to share this word uh, again as we glorify you father god this is your service your church uh, i'm just a voice here so thank you for that and um, as we go forward let's do the uh, as i do the best i can here uh father god carry this message continue this message and this uh this mission so thank you father god in your in jesus name right now i pray it right now i pray it in jesus name amen and amen. All right, folks. Well, bear with me, friends. <laughs> I don't know how long this pro this uh, podcast is going to last because of the internet issues. But uh, I will see. Uh, in you uh, know, anyway, the uh, the audio will keep going if I do lose uh, the podcast. Hopefully not. Uh, that wouldn't be good, but uh, if uh, it does, you got the audio, and I'll have that uploaded. So let's get to it. Podcast notes right now, my friends, on this awesome Friday afternoon. I'm still trying to dial into the internet here, uh, so we will we'll kind of just play it by ear and see what happens here. All right, and let's clean that up. Amen. All right, well, let's get to it, friends. Listen, we're going to go right into our podcast notes. No time to waste on this day. Uh, bear with me again. Let's see if I can pull this monitor up here. It's still spinning. Like, I I don't get the Internet thing. We just switched and supposedly went to the high-powered, just as bad as the last Internet service we had. So, um I may uh, I may have to switch this back up to 11:30. I don't know. We'll see what happens here. Uh, I got one out. Uh, no internet. It's on, but it's no internet. So sorry about all that, friends. Uh, I just don't get it. I'm not sure what's going on. <laughs> it says it is on and connected, but I don't think so. I don't think so. Anyway, let's go on, friends. Glad to be here. Send a shout out to my little sisters, everybody on the Facebook group, Pastor Anna, and of course, uh, Brother Mark, Pamela, and Riley. Let's go over and check those out on the channel's Facebook page. Right? Amen. Y'all know where it is. Y'all know where they're at. Uh, let me get into my notes here. Uh, of course, we got uh, Pastor Anna. Over at the uh, Soma Patia Numea, uh, the Church of God's Children, of course. Got uh, YouTube, Gab, Social, TikTok, I believe, you know, IMVU, Instagram, Facebook, of course. And like I said, Mark, Pamela, and Riley. 
Christian watches the heavenly signs. And of course, like I said, sending shout outs to everybody. New subscribers, I appreciate you dropping by the studio, dropping by the uh, dropping by the uh, YouTube channel and all the uh, other social media channels out there. Do appreciate that. Pretty off, uh, awesome. All right, let's uh, see if I can reset this. Uh, Twitch TV Minish Podcast live right now. We are the uh, we are there restream TV uh, today. So let's get right into it. No time to waste. Let's get into our podcast notes, friends. Ephesians. Well, no, let's go back back the other direction. Uh, north, <laughs> opposite that way. All right, back in the studio, Restream TV. Hello, my brothers and sisters. Konnichiwa, nobody got to my precious friends in Japan popping in right now on the line. That is awesome. Thank you guys for that. All right, dear God, I know that I'm a sinner and I need a savior. I want to turn away from my sinful life to the life you have planned for me. Please forgive me for my sins. Cleanse me of my past. Make me new. I know your son, Jesus Christ, uh, died on the cross for me. Uh, and I believe, where are we at here? I believe in my heart that you raised him from the dead. At this very moment, I accept, confess, and proclaim Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. Friends, Right now. Uh, amen. To live in my heart from this day forward. I thank you, Jesus, for your grace that has saved me from my sins and has given me eternal life. Please send your Holy Spirit to guide me and to help me to do your will for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name, friends, we pray right now. There you go. Amen. Get all of me worldwide. Live ministry podcast at yahoo.com, the official uh, email uh, for the ministry. Uh, amen. And you guys can send in your prayer requests, of course, anytime, 24-7. It's rolling like that, right? And don't forget X as well. All right, Serenity Prayer, friends. We're going to steamroll right through it. Amen. We're going to just get right to the podcast here. Now, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change and the courage to change the things I can and the wisdom to know the difference Living one day at a time, there it is, uh, and enjoying one moment at a time, accepting hardships as a pathway to peace, taking as Jesus did the sinful world as it is, not as I would have it, uh, trusting that he will make all things right if I surrender to his will, that I may be reasonably happy in this life and supremely happy with him forever in the next, friends, church, we've got to say amen for that, amen. All right, Lord's Prayer. You know what we do here, friends. Good to be here with you. Amen. Just uh, double-checking everything again. I lost Channel 4. It's gone on the wayside. Uh, it's taken a trip. Uh, and not probably not down memory lane, but it's just taken a trip and vacated the premises. <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll work around it somehow, some way. I'll figure something out. But um, let's see. All right, let's pull up on the monitors, move the other monitors around to the other side here. So that's a little helpful there. All right, what have we got? Amen. All right, it helps with all the monitors here. So I got Twitch on this side, uh, Twitch TV here, got YouTube over that way, and Block Talk Radio on a split screen. So. Always, always awesome. You know, always something to do here. Anyway, let's keep going. How about, uh, again, I, I think I started or just finished up or was going to do it, but uh, let's do it anyway, friends. Uh, Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. Oh, that's a that's a tough one, but hey, we got to do it, my friends. That's right. Now, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen and amen. There you go, friends. All right, bear with me. A uh, new set of glasses, and I can't even hardly, I uh, can't even really see out of them. That's not good. Mercy. Who makes these anyway? 
All right, anyway, let's put on some armor, friends. Go to your Bibles, and I hope you got them out here. Uh, Ephesians 6, 10 through 20, as we always do here on the program in a hot 100 degrees, or at least close to it. Feels hotter, but hey, it's all right. We're in a cool studio. We've got the windows open, got the fans blowing, uh, and a fresh cup of coffee. Why not? Let's just throw in that coffee, right? All right, amen, friends. Uh, again, uh, going into Ephesians 6, 10 through 20, the armor of God. Let's go ahead and read that, uh, church, right now. Now, finally, my brothers and sisters, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, and against the spiritual wickedness in high places. Now, wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, uh, and having done all the stand, stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod to the preparation of the gospel of peace, above all, taking the shield of faith, Wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, friends. That's right. You have that authority by Jesus. Amen. When he died on the cross for us, he gave us that authority. We forget to use it sometimes. That's it. That's the problem. We got to use it. Amen. By the authority. All right. Uh, let's backtrack just a little bit here, as I always do. He says, stand, as we go into 14, I guess, we're going to jump, uh, I believe, jump to 14. Or should we do 13 just again in case the sun was in your eyes and maybe had your feet in a puddle or something? I don't know. Let's go to 13. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that uh, ye may be able to withstand an evil day, and having un uh, done all to stand, Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet shod of the preparation of gospel of peace. Of course, don't forget that. Now, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Take the helmet of salvation, the sword of the Spirit, which we know is the word of God, uh, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me that utterance may be given unto me, uh, that I may open my mouth boldly, uh, let's see, to, let's see, to, do, to make known the mystery of the gospel, uh, for which I am an ambassador in bonds, that, that their enemy speak boldly as I ought to speak. There you go, friends. Awesome, awesome words there. Uh, yeah, there you go. Um, now, I was going to do this podcast later on tonight. I thought about it. And I was going to do it at 11, 11.30, our Friday, the usual Friday night Bible study podcast that I always do on Restream TV because I really wanted to get back on somewhat of a tracking but uh, like I said, the uh, the uh, internet service as is not changed. It just it seems to be identical to what we had before, and so uh, that's not good. Uh, so I'm going to try to try to just wing it and see what I can do here. Uh, so I did schedule the podcast out uh, again from today. I had to reset this whole week. Uh, but uh, I've got set up for this one and tomorrow and Sunday. So we'll see if I can get back on somewhat of a track anyway with the live videos, uh, the live podcast. Of course, you know I am back on Block Talk Radio live right now. If you guys dial in, you can hear it uh, as we speak. And, of course, Spreaker, uh, Spotify podcast, jump on there, sign up, and subscribe if you will. I appreciate that, friends. Nothing like a fresh hot cup of coffee in 100 degree weather, but that's all right. Well, let's do it. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, so I'm going to try to get back on track, but we'll, uh, we'll kind of play it by ear. And again, as I said in the last podcast, I never know. Well, we're dialed in, friends. I hope you're 
ready for some church, uh, friends, today on our early Friday here. Uh, I want to go into Matthew chapters 22 and 23, of course, just a, a couple of quick scriptures out of there, uh, out of the book of Matthew. Uh, amen. Let's pull the pulpit up here. Well, it's a music stand, but I'd like to call it a pulpit because I'm practicing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm practicing, but anyway, I, I appreciate you all, and I'm glad you guys are here. Uh, I know it's been so long. Uh, I've been trying to do uh, little updates here and there every chance I get, but uh, again, with the internet issues not changing, just different company with different uh, same issues and same problems, so I'm trying to just work around it and see how it goes. Uh, and it, it's all about opportunity, right? So I have a little bit of opportunity to jump online here. So let's uh, let's get to a couple more scriptures here or chapters in the book of Matthew. Uh, 22. Let's go ahead and read that, friends. Hope you get your Bibles with you. Uh, again, live on Restream TV this afternoon. Bottom of the hour. How's it going, friends? Hope you guys had a great week so far. It's Friday. You made it. It's the weekend. Uh, we can hang out and relax a little bit, right? Amen. Like I said, nothing like a fresh brewed cup of coffee in a Bible study, folks. Amen. <laughs> Let's go ahead and read it. Chapter 22 in the book of Matthew, brethren and sisters. Glad you guys are here. Again, still kind of having uh, internet issues, so I'm going to just keep rolling with it see what happens. All right, and Jesus answered in ch uh, chapter 22 of the book of Matthew here in uh, verse 1, uh, and spake unto them again by parables and said, Luke 14, 16, of course, the side scriptures, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a certain king which made a marriage for his son and sent forth his servants to call them that were bidden to the wedding and would not come. Again, he sent forth other servants saying tell them which are bidden uh, behold I have prepared my dinner my oxen and my fatlings are killed and all things are ready come unto the marriage Proverbs 9 2 but they made a light of it and went their ways one to his farm another to his merchandise and the remnant took his servants and entreated them spitefully and slew them but when the king heard thereof Oh, he was wroth, my friends. His countenance was wroth, as he says here. Uh, and he sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burned up their city. And then in verse 8, Then saith he to his servants, The wedding is already, already, but they which were bedden were not worthy. And go ye therefore into the highways, and as many as ye shall find bid uh, to the marriage. So these or those servants went out into the highways and gathered together all as many as they found, both bad and good, and the wedding was furnished with guests. Uh, Matthew thirteen thirty eight on that one. Amen. Let's pull that mic up just a little bit more. Amen. All right, let's keep going. Uh, here now let's go to verse 11 and when the king came in to see the guest he saw there a man which uh, had not on a wedding garment 12 and he said unto him friend right he said friend uh, how camest thou in hither not having a we uh, a wedding garment yeah, and he was speechless then said the king to the servants uh, bind him hand and foot and take him away cast him into outer darkness there shall be weeping and gnashing of the teeth Matthew 8 12 for many are called but few are chosen friends. that's what he says right there many are called but few are chosen all right Matthew 20 16 uh, and 15 then went the Pharisees and took counsel how they might entangle him in his talk and they sent out unto him their disciples with Herodians, uh, right? Uh, saying, Master, we know that thou art true and teachest the way of God in truth. Neither carest thou for any man, for thou regardest not the person of men. Tell us, therefore, in 17, what thinkest thou? 
Uh, is it lawful to give tribute unto Caesar or not? Very inquisitive question, I would say. Now in 18, but Jesus perceived their wickedness and said, Why tempt ye me, ye hypocrites? I uh, says, Shew me the tribute money. And they brought in, in unto him a penny. And he said unto them, or saith unto them, Whose is the image and superscription? Uh, they said unto him, Caesar. Then saith he unto them, Render therefore unto Caesar the things which are Caesar's, and unto God the things that are God's. When they had heard these words, they marveled and left him and went their way. Uh, the same day came to him the Sadducees, uh, which say there is no resurrection, and asked him, said, Master, or saying, Master, Moses said, If a man die, uh, having no children, his brother shall marry his wife and raise up seed into his brother. Deuteronomy 25, 5, 25. Uh, now there were with us seven brethren, and the first, when he married a wife, deceased, and uh, having no issue, left his wife uh, unto his brother. And likewise, the second, also the third, and the seventh, the last of uh, all the women, uh, died also. And therefore, in the resurrection, whose wife shall be of the seven? For they all had her, and Jesus answered and said unto them ye do err, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of God. For in the resurrection they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of God in heaven, first John three two, but as touching the resurrection of the dead. Uh, let's see. Have ye not read that which was spoken unto you by God? I am the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac, he says, and the God of Jacob. God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. Right there, folks, right there. All right, uh, Exodus, uh, what do we got? Exodus 3, 6 on the side scripture there. Uh, when the multitude heard this, they were astonished at his doctrine. Uh, Matthew 7 28 but when the Pharisees let's get to the next page make sure I'm following along here in 34 uh, well they had heard he said here they had heard that he had put the Sadducees to silence and they were gathered together Mark 12 28 there uh, 35 then one of them which was a lawyer asked him a question tempting him and saying Master, which is the greater commandment in the law? And 37, Jesus said unto them, Thou shalt love the Lord. Now watch this, friends. Watch this. Now she said, uh, he said, uh, You shall love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. Amen, right? Now this is the first and the greatest commandment, or the great commandment. And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Leviticus 19.18 and Mark 12.31 fronts on that. Amen. All right, uh, 40. And those two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. While the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them, saying, What think ye of Christ? Whose son is he? And they said unto him, the son of David, now he said unto them, How then doth David in spirit call him Lord, saying, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand, till, uh, let's see, right there, till I make thine enemies thy footstool. If David then call him Lord, how was he his son? All right. No, and no man was able to answer him a word, neither Gus or, or Durst, not Gus. What? Sun got in my eyes. <laughs> All right, he says. No man was able to answer him you know, a word, neither Durst uh, any man from that day forth asked him any more questions. Mark twelve thirty four for that one, friends. All right, double checking uh, the 
uh, monitors again. Got new glasses, but uh, like I said, I'm struggling to see here. So bear with me. I uh, got to make sure there. Something's not on. Is that? No, hang on here. Yeah, I don't know what, what that was, but uh, hang on here. Let me clean these off. All right. Well, even though it's been a while, not much has changed here. I'm still kind of kind of bumbling around here, but uh, let's let's see if we can keep going here, friends, uh, today. Anyway, like I said, I hope you guys are doing well. I, I missed you. I really did. I really enjoyed doing this, and uh, it's been uh, it's been a kind of a battle here the last uh, few months here. So. But uh, you know we're we're doing all right. We're we're doing all right. Bring it on in, my friends. Hugs for everybody here. Amen. Right? Big hugs for everybody. Amen. All right. Yeah. Y'all good. Amen. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, let's continue. <laughs> let's continue before I really get carried away here. I uh, just happy to be back in the studio here, friends. Uh, it's been been good. So anyway, let's move along, shall we? Amen. On this awesome day here all right what do we got chapter 23 friends as we continue our bible study today uh matthew 23 here so then spake jesus in verse 1 uh to the multitude and to his disciples saying the scribes and the pharisees sit in moses seat all therefore whatsoever they bid you observe that observe and do but do not Ye after their works, for they say, and do not. I know, don't get confused. <laughs> that, that threw a bunch of people off. I read it the other day, and they were like, what are you talking about? Well, you all, you all know what I'm talking about. So, uh, amen. Give me a second here. Let me do a sound check. Let me do a sound check on the monitors. I got to do a monitor check. All right, if I can. Well, all right. Amen. I'll roll him back over here. There it is. Let's see if that works. All right, well, uh, let's see. Let's see. Pull the monitor here. Let's see. I hope I got the volume level good. That would help. That's what happened the last time. I didn't unmute the button and uh, went the whole podcast with no volume level. So, oh, well, that's not good. Hang on here, folks. Give me a second here. Let's see if I got going. <laughs> That's not good at all. Hold on here, friends. Let me uh, pull something up here. Let's see what we got. Why is it not pulling up? Wow, what is going on? All right, give me a minute. I'm on, but I'm not getting any volume level anywhere. So I don't know what's going on with that. Let's see, we've got that going. Okay. Bear with me, guys. Hold that thought. I got the volume level up, but uh, I'm not seeing it. <sighs> well, bear with me, guys. Hold on. Um. I don't have any volume level. I don't know why. So bear with me. Oh, that, oh there it is. Maybe. Okay. I guess it is. Uh, I don't know. Give me a thumbs up if you guys can hear me okay. Uh, first of all, if you guys are on and here. Okay. Yeah, it must be just something in my volume level or something um, on my on my headset. Uh, I don't hear uh, anything on there, so. 
Well, let's try this again. I know it's on. I just heard it out of the main volume uh, level, but uh, again, nothing, uh, nothing here. Uh, so let me, let me see. Let me go over the other one here. All right. All right, so I am on the Twitch monitor there, and it's on the left side here. That's I have the other, uh, the other monitors pulled up here. So let's see if I can do this way. Hey, Amen. All right, bear with me, guys. Just a little bit of technical technical issues I'm dealing with here. Let's see. I don't want that. Okay. Let's. Let me pull this up here. I wanted to make sure. Um, and there's that one again. Here it is. Okay, now I got it. Now the volume level. I don't know why the delay here, folks. I'm sorry about all this again. Uh, I don't know why um, there's a delay in everything. But uh, for some reason, it's just not working right. So let me pull this back up here. All right. Well, eventually, we'll have a Bible study. I just have to get through some of the technical problems I've been having. And, uh, I, and again, I worked on this all day. Four hours, three hours of working on this. And uh, I could not, for some reason, couldn't do it. It wouldn't work. Well, anyway, at least I'm, I'm glad to be back on a video part of it anyway, you know, here. Uh, so thank you guys for your patience, as I always tell you. Uh, again, I'm just going to pop a couple of these monitors up, make sure that uh, everything is working. Uh, I did pull the monitor on this side here, so that uh, that's going. I want to pull up Twitch as well, so just bear with me. We're going to go into 23 here in just a quick second or two. Uh, well, at least, you know, as, as much as I can. I don't have to do anything. I just have to pull the other monitors up here, so bear with me, guys, on this. All right. Uh, amen. All right, give me a minute or two here. All right, let me pull that up, and then, uh, like I said, I'll get to uh, I'll get to the monitor for Twitch uh, Ministry Podcast Live. There, you guys are so awesome. Thank you, guys. Blessings for just being so patient on that channel. On all of them, you guys have been waiting for a, a broadcast here, and I just haven't had a chance to to get to it. Uh, here, are, you know, um, again, as things go happen the way it is, but uh, well, you know, thank you guys again. All right, there it is. Okay, so I don't know what happened, but I'm on. <laughs> it's on. Oh mercy, come on now. Uh, let's see. Go here. Bear with me, guys. I'm pulling. I finally got the monitor back up on four, uh, which makes a big difference here. So bear with me just a little bit more here. Um, you guys can like run around the block or something. By the time I you get back, I'll maybe I'll, I'll still be here. Who knows? I don't know. I hope so. I hope so. Okay. All right, bear with me, guys. We're going. We're going to get the monitor for Blog Talk Radio. If you keep an eye on that, on the volume level there. Okay, bear with me, guys. Oh uh, well, it is the late afternoon Friday early broadcast here, friends. I tried to, like I said, just trying to uh, get back on here. Uh, as much as I can, or best I can, anyway. All right. So you pull up that main channel on Block Talk Radio, and there it is. All right. Let's refresh that. And let's see what I got. Amen. And I will go ahead and pull up uh, Twitch TV as well. Uh, so bear with me, guys. 
Now, most likely tomorrow, uh, Saturday, I'll be back up at like 11, 1130. I think I'm going to try to get back on uh, StreamYard tomorrow. I was going to do it sometime this week, and then it never happened. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to do that. So. All right, bear with me, guys. Just I, I appreciate your patience here. So, right. a little delayed responses uh, coming in, but uh, that's all right. So, okay, let's go. There it is. Let's pull up Twitch. I want to get the monitor over here on channel four. That finally popped up. I mean, 42 minutes into the broadcast, and all the now Channel 4 is just finally working. So I'm not sure what's happening with, with everything, but uh, bless you guys. All right. We're going to go that way. That's usually for my tablet. I'm still working on that, too, but I do have a, a phone set up here, so... All right, eventually, sometime, we're going to go. <laughs> we're going to go. Uh, bear with me, guys. I appreciate you. Do -do 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 -do. I know. Get your crackers. Get your snacks into your coffee warmed up. By the Like I said, you jog around the block. By the time you get back, I'll be here. <laughs> I'll be waiting on you. I uh, just try to get this straightened out here. All right, monitor's there, and we want to go here. All right, kids, hold your thought on Twitch TV. Awesome. Glad to be there with you. Ministry Podcast Live on Twitch TV. Uh, streaming as much as I can, really. Um, you know, well, I'll try anyway, but now that I kind of worked out some of the bugs and the uh, problems I had. All right. Okay. Da -da. It's spinning. It's spinning. <laughs> All right. Hello. Bear with me, guys. Uh, the channel, like it'll just spin. It's sitting there and it's just idling. It's not doing anything. So. Well, let's read some Bible. You're here. We are here today, my friends. At this very moment, you're there and I'm here. But I appreciate you guys being there. <laughs> Amen. I do. Ah, All right, let's read some Bible. Let's see if we can do something here. Chapter 23, Pharisees questioned. Uh, you know, we talk about them bad guys, them Pharisees and the Sadducees. Let's uh, read on here, 23. He said uh, in verse 1, let's, again, let's try to go here, uh, friends. Then spake Jesus to the multitude and, in, and to his disciples, uh, saying, The scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat. All therefore whatsoever they bid you observe, that observe and do, and do not ye after their works, for they say, and do not do, right, or do not. Romans 2.19 for they bind heavy burdens and grievous to be born and lay them on men's shoulders. But they themselves will not move them with one of their fingers. Luke 4, uh, 11, 46, Galatians 6, 13. But all their works they do for to be seen of men, as we see in the end times here. Ah, uh, they make broad their phylacteries and enlarge the borders of their garments. And love the uppermost rooms at feasts, and the chief seats in the synagogues, Mark twelve thirty eight, and greetings in the markets, and to be called of men rabbi, rabbi, not just once but twice. He says here, ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah, <laughs> all right. I uh, mean, not now. Watch this. Friends, a lot of just a lot of ministers and preachers and pastors out there just missing this. 
uh, or not paying attention to it, not heeding what the real, you know, what the real word here says. It says, but be not ye called rabbi, for one is your master, even Christ. And all ye are brethren, and call no man your father upon the earth, for one is your father which is in heaven. Uh, Malachi 1, 6 there. Now neither be ye called masters, for one is your master, even Christ. But he that is greatest among you shall be your servant. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. And he that shall humble himself, right, shall be exalted. But woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. Luke 11:52. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye devour widows' houses, and for a pretense make long suffering, therefore ye shall receive the greater damnation. All right, bear with me again. Pop ups coming in. Amen. All right. Uh, all right, so let's go to 15. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. For ye compass sea and land to make one proselyte, or proselyte. Uh, when he is made, ye make him to fold more than a child of hell than yourselves, he says here. Now woe unto you, ye blind guides, which say, uh, whosoever shall swear by the temple, uh, it is nothing. But whosoever shall swear by the gold of the temple, he is a debtor. Uh, Matthew 5, 33. Ye fools and blind, for whether is greater the gold of the temple that sanctifieth the gold. Uh, Exodus 30, verse 29. And whosoever shall swear by the altar, it is nothing, but whosoever sweareth by the gift that is upon it, he is guilty. Uh, ye fools and blind, for whether is greater the gift or the altar that sanctifieth the gift. And whosoever therefore shall swear by the altar, sweareth by it and by all things thereon. Let's go to 21. And whosoever shall swear by the temple, uh, as he says here, uh, sweareth by it and by him that dwelleth therein. And he that uh, shall swear by heaven, sweareth by the throne of God and by him that sitteth therein or thereon. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye pay tithe of mint and anise, and cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought to, to have you done, or have done, and not to leave the other undone. Uh, ye blind guides which strain in a gnat, swallow a camel. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you make clean the outside of the cup uh, and the platter and of the platter, but with they are full of extortion and excess. Uh, Mark 7, 4 there, I believe that uh, is verse 4. All right, 26. Thou blind Pharisees, clean or cleanse first that which is within the cup. Uh, and platter, that the outside of them may be clean also. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are like unto whited sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones, uh, and of all uncleanness, Luke 11.44. All right, uh, even so ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity woe unto you scribes and pharisees hypocrites because i uh, let's see because ye build the tombs of the prophets and garnish the sepulchers of the righteous luke eleven forty seven, and say if we had been in the days of our fathers we uh, would not have been partakers with them in the blood of the prophets. Wherefore, ye be witness unto yourselves that ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. Fill ye up 
than the measure of your fathers, Genesis 15, 16, there, ye serpents, ye generation of vipers. Oh, boy, that's deep. That's a deep scripture, friends. These are deep, deep words here. Uh, how can ye escape the damnation of hell? Matthew 3, 7. Now, wherefore, behold, I send you, or send unto you prophets and wise men and scribes, and some of them ye shall kill and crucify, and some of them shall ye scourge in your synagogues and persecute them from city to city. All right, that upon you may come all the righteous blood shed upon the earth from the blood of righteous Abel unto the blood of Zacharias, son of uh, Barachias, whom he slew between the temple and the altar. Uh, Genesis 4, 8. Now, verily, I say unto you, all these things shall come upon this generation. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, uh, thou that killest the prophets and stonest them which are sent unto thee, how often would I gather thy children to gather, uh, even as a hen gathered her chickens under her wings, and you would not. Deuteronomy 32, 11. As we look at the end times here, signs of the end times, 38, Behold, your house is left unto you desolate. For I say unto you, ye shall not see me henceforth, till ye shall say, Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. <coughs> All right. I think I want to jump to 24. Friends, I, I think we we need to look at that again, because uh, a lot of people just forget. I, I don't know what it is. Um, I, I'm not sure, but uh, a lot of people just forget. So I think I want to kind of change this out a little bit. But uh, let's go to if I can here, if I may, my friends. Let's put that over there. Grab that. Right, let's uh, let's do a little change up here, friends. Uh, Twenty-four. And I want to do that because I never know until I get to the scripture, the verse where I actually am at, and uh, then I see something I want to change out. So twenty-four, friends, if you will, let's go. Keep going. Uh, and let's uh, let's read. Let's see if I can get that note there. Uh, let's go ahead and just read Matthew 24 as well, friends, as, as we can here. All right, all right. Let's do some Bible reading, my friends. And like I said, I hope you're doing swell, and I hope you're doing well, my friends, my brothers and sisters. Amen. Glad to be on TV with you. <laughs> well, it is free stream TV, you know. I'm just saying. It's right there. All right. Let's uh, let's let's see. Let's go over Monitor real quick here. Monitor World, right? Y'all know that in, in the music biz, in the, in the mixing biz there. Uh, amen. Let's get the... Uh, Let's get the mixer tuned up to a 2.3 dB on the EQ. <laughs> Whatever that means. I don't know. I'm just throwing stuff out there. Uh, amen. But uh, like I said, like I always said here, you guys that are doing this, you know what I'm talking about with the EQ on there. Dialing up the EQ. Tuning in. Amen. All right, so bear with me. Just uh, kind of doing a quick check on YouTube. You guys that are dialed in, thank you guys for hanging out with me and coming on into the church today. Amen. Uh, All right. Well, let's see if we can't get somewhat on track again. You know, that's that's a big thing. Let's uh, let's see what we can do here and uh, see if I can't uh, get back on track. Uh, you know, and and see what we can do here. All right. 
Uh, yes. Oh, we are going to look at chapter 24, my friends. All right. Monitor pulled up. Volume check, I think. I hope. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Ugh. Well, everything looks good. Sounds good. So that's a, that's a good sign there. That's awesome. Uh, amen. All right. What do we got on the channel here? And there it is. Did a lot of work on this, uh, on some things here. I want to make sure everything was uh, dialed in, you know. So let's see. And let's see if that's straightened out. Is that straightened? So I don't know if you guys know the last time I was on uh, Melon TV. Uh, for some reason, this board came loose and it popped off in the middle of the podcast. I turned, around, I looked at the camera, and the board was actually hanging off the off the line there. Uh, and so I just left that one on, but I uploaded the audio part of it instead. It's still, you guys can still see the Melon uh, TV broadcast there, but um, I straightened it out. I figured it out. I actually basically just boarded it or put nails back in it, and then I put a little. Uh, extra board on the bottom part to frame it over so uh, hopefully like I said I'll be getting these here pretty soon too I've been waiting on them for a long time the order's been in but haven't had a chance to grab them and get them in there so usual you know just little things here so let's see that's straightened out headset check volume level amen let's read some more bible shall we you because know, you know I get to rebel a little bit Let's get to it. Chapter 24 in the book of Matthew is a little extended chapter here. I wanted to read this. So Jesus went out and departed from the temple, and disciples came to him for to shew him the buildings of the temple. Oh, and Jesus said unto them, See ye not all these things? He says here, uh, Verily I say unto you, There shall not be left here one stone upon another, and they shall be uh, that shall not be thrown down. I've got a, a couple of them for you here, friends. If you're writing down in your notes, uh, and I hope you are, uh, 1 Kings 9-7, Micah 3-12 on that verse there. So volume, or verse 3, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when, now watch this, he says, When shall these things be i know it relates to us we ask these questions a lot when are the end time we are in the end times and he said watch this he says what shall be the sign of thy coming and the end of the world mark 13 3 and jesus answered and said to them take heed that no man deceive you uh, Ephesians 5, 6. Let's go to uh, verse 5 here. Many, for many, again, watch this. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. Jeremiah 14, 14. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet come, friends. Uh, or not yet. So, for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines, and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places, or various places. Uh, amen. Now, uh, all these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you. Uh, let's see. And sh uh, you shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Right, writing a quick note down there, friends. So, uh, ye shall be hated of all nations. And I'd say, don't add it, but I'd say kindreds and tongues, right? He says, for my name's sake. All right, so let's go to 10. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. Matthew eleven six. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. All right, uh, 12. And because it, uh, iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax 
cold. But he that shall endure until the end, friends, the same shall be saved. Wow, right there, friends. That, that's awesome. He says and tells us here, friends, he tells us here, gives us this, uh, this answer. Uh, because iniquity, well, let's go, let's see, 13. But he that shall endure, church, unto the end, the same shall be saved. We just got to have that faith, friends. We just got to believe and have faith, amen. Uh, now, 14, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto the nations, or unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Matthew 4, 23, Colossians 1, 6. And again, we're in Matthew chapter 24. If you're just joining the program here, folks, thanks again for dropping by. And of course, all the replay viewers. You guys are awesome. Thank you guys so much for that. Uh, okay, so let's uh, look at 15. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet and stand in the holy place, whoso readeth, uh, let him understand. Amen. I know I'm, <laughs> I'm playing uh, crisscross here with my uh, microphone. It never stays. It seems like it always out of place here. So let's keep going anyway. Uh, then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. And let him which is on the housetop uh, not come down to take anything out of his house. And neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes and woe unto them that are with child and to them that uh, give suck in those days uh, Luke 23 29 for that one 20 but pray that ye that your flight says here uh, be not in winter and neither on the Sabbath day all right uh, 21 for then shall be great tribulation such as was not seen uh, or was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor uh, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Again, we're already seeing that, right, friends? We're already seeing these end times here. Uh, Isaiah 65, 8. So then in 23, uh, then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, for there, or there, believe it not, Mark 13, 21, 24, again, here it is, laid out for us, there, for there shall arise false Christ, and false prophets, and shall shew great signs and wonders, inasmuch that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Now, behold, I have told you before. Uh, let's see, wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth, and behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. For as the lightning cometh out of the east, and shineth even into the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be, Luke seventeen twenty four. For... Uh, wheresoever the carcasses, there will be the eagles, uh, or will the eagles, will the eagles be gathered together? Job 3, what? 3930. There he is. I had to look at twice on that. Now, immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall. Uh, again, as we talk about the, uh, the rapture and solar eclipse and the blood moon here, it describes. Uh, that, uh, you know, that scenario in the end times there. Let me grab this real quick and fix that spot there. Uh, again, the in verse uh, 28, the, uh, the side scripture was, uh, let's see, Job uh, 3930. So, all right. So as, as 29 talks about the tribulation and the blood moons and the rapture, uh, of course, the solar eclipse, uh, friends, uh, and times prophecy uh, right there. So let's uh, keep going on that. So as the heaven, he says here, as it continues, uh, the stars shall fall from heaven 
And the powers of heaven shall be shaken, Isaiah 13.10. Uh, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great authority. All right, uh, Daniel 7.13 there. And he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other, Matthew 13, 41. Now, learn a parable as we shift here a little bit here. He says, uh, learn a parable of the fig tree when his branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves. Ye know that summer is nigh, Luke 21, 29 on that one. All right, uh, 33. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all things, know that it is near. Even at the doors, fairly I say unto you, this generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Matthew 16, 28 there. Now, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Uh, what do we got? Psalm 102, 26, Jeremiah 31, 35. But of that day and hour, watch this. Friend, he, says, he tells us right here. But that day and hour, nobody knows, right? He just he says right here, knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. I'm just saying, it's right there. Uh, 37, but as the days of Noah were, so shall the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking. Uh, they were eat, let's see, eating, drinking, marrying, and giving in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark and knew not until the flood came. Because he says here, as we talk about the rapture in the end times, he says, God is knows the day and the hour. He's the only one, friends. So that's why we've got to be prepared. Repent now before it's too late. All right. Uh, let's see what we got here. Thank you guys again for tuning in. I appreciate that. Now, he says in 40, uh, then uh, shall two be in the field. No, and one shall be taken and the other left. Luke 17, 34. Two women shall be grinding at the mill. The one shall be taken uh, and the other left. Watch therefore, for ye not uh, not or know not what the hour your Lord doth come. But know this that if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. Luke twelve thirty nine. Now therefore be ye also ready, for in such an hour as ye think, not the Son of Man cometh. Uh, who then is faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord hath made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season? Luke twelve forty two. Now blessed is he that servant, or that servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. Revelation sixteen fifteen. And verily I say unto you that he shall make him rule over all his goods. Matthew twenty five twenty one, Luke twenty two twenty nine. Uh, but in and if that evil servant shall say in his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming. Uh, forty nine, and shall begin to smite all his servants or his fellow servants, and to eat and drink with the drunkard. Right there, uh, the Lord of that servant shall come in a day. When he looketh not for him, and the hour that he is not aware of, and shall cut him asunder, and appoint him his portion with the hypocrites, there shall uh, be weeping and gnashing of the teeth. Now, if you get a little extra time on your hands, you say, I'm bored, I don't got nothing to do. Well, read the, <laughs> read the rest of Matthew uh, friends, on the uh, end times here, as he tells us these words, just say, "Can't be bored, right? Don't get, don't be bored, friends. Always something to do." Amen. All right, so there you go, friends. Matthew twenty-two through twenty-four on that one. I did want to get that in there for sure. Um, 
<clears throat> I wanted to make sure that we uh, we got that uh, we got that in there. So, all right, give me a minute. I'm gonna refresh the notes here. So bear with me, guys, on this again. Not long. I uh, I will just kind of update a couple of things here. Cause I want to change something out. I just uh, got something I wanted to add that. So next podcast, I'll probably do 25. Uh, I think 25, 26, maybe 27, three of them. A couple of them, maybe. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. Um, depends on how long they are. Maybe 25 and 26, right? Yeah. I think I think that sounds uh, that sounds uh, good. Let's, uh, let's do that. Bear with me again, changing it out for the next podcast. It'll be tomorrow. Uh, I wanted to get on here again just to you know get back on track a little bit, make sure things were you know operating in the house, you know Lord's house here, God's house, of course. I uh, want to make sure that was taken care of and straightened out. So. Um, Amen. So let me update this real quick. We're going to move on and go to the next one, but I wanted to make sure that, uh, again, that I update. Now, we are going to look at John chapter 3, one of my favorites. Uh, friends, I want to go ahead and do that. So let me update this. Um, let's see. So let me change this out. While I'm thinking about it, while we're here, uh, I do want to kind of update this uh, the scriptures here, the, the podcast notes, uh, just because, well, again, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to try to hurry as fast as I can so y'all don't get bored and leave me. Stick around. I told you, I'm not going nowhere. I got a, got a lot to say and a lot of, a lot of stuff to share. So uh, let me grab the notes, change the notes out here, and we will do that. Anyway, I hope you guys are doing well. Like I said, I'm praying for each and every one of you, praying for your households and your situations and your trials and your tribulations. Amen. (laughs) All right. Praying for everybody out there, of course. Uh, Like I said, there's a lot of stuff just happening left and right here. Uh, Of course, as we said, the devil's time is short. He knows it. And he's acting a fool. He's all up in everybody's grill and say, hey, Mr. Devil, get behind me. Go take your coffee and your minions and get behind me. Uh, You got no business here. I don't know what you're doing, but keep moving. The line's that way. Go go that way. <laughs> I'm just saying. So, uh, again, that's, you know, that's, tell him to keep moving. Nothing to see, just keep moving. Go that way. And especially grab your coffee. Whatever whatever you're having, take it with you. <laughs> right? Uh, you know, there you go. All right, so anyway, uh, Matthew, uh, I want to look at Matthew chapter 25, let's see, 25 and 26 next. So that's what we're going to do on the next podcast. We're going to get to this one eventually here. Uh, amen. So, again, hold on here. I want to update this while I got an opportunity here. So, 25 and 26. I think that's on the menu. I believe, I believe. Uh, yeah, we're going to get in some deep scriptures here, friends, on the next. Uh, well, uh, every podcast is deep scriptures. I think that's for sure. All righty. I think we got it. I think we got it, my friends. Let's move on to the next one. How about John chapter 3? Uh, favorite should be on your sticky notes. Everywhere you can put a sticky note. I think on the ceiling, just paint it on there. Just spray paint it on the wall. John 3.16. Don't get in trouble, though. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. Where are we going? John 3.16. That's what we want. Um, okay, John chapter 3, let's bring it, bring it to the table, my friends, with John chapter 3, uh, amen, all right, let's go there, and let's go to John 3, friends, right there, uh, now, as we know, brothers and sisters, there, there was a, there was a man here, 
uh, of the Pharisees, as we know, uh, named Nicodemus a ruler of the Jews. Well, in 2, verse 2, then came to Jesus, uh, the same came to Jesus at, by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher uh, come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. Uh, John seven fifty. of course, uh, Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Now Nicodemus saith unto him, Well, Jesus, he said, how, how can a man be born again, or born when he is old? Can he enter? I uh, said, can he enter the second time? into his mother's womb and be born? Well, Jesus answered, Verily, verily I say unto thee, uh, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. Marvel not that I said unto you, or thee, ye must be born again. Marvel Again, he says, uh, well, we said that. Let's move on to 8, right? Uh, amen. The wind bloweth where it listeth, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh and whither it goeth. Uh, so is every one that is born of the Spirit? Now Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? And Jesus answered and said unto him, Art thou a master of Israel? And knowest not these things? Verily, verily, I say unto thee, we speak that we do know, and testify that we have seen, and ye receive not our witness. I have told you earthly things, and ye believe not. How shall ye believe uh, if I tell you of heavenly things? And no man has ascended up to heaven, but that uh, he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. Proverbs 30, verse 4. And Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness. Get, uh, let's see, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. Well, let's go on to uh, 15 here. As we know, God so loved the world, friends. He, he does. He did. He loved the world. Amen. All right, so let's get that cleaned up there. Amen. All right, you know, got to keep the club clean. <laughs> it's the best thing here anyway. Let's roll on, folks. All right, uh, so in 15, as we see here, uh, whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Now watch these words here, friends. John 3, 36, verse 16. For God so loved the world, friends, that he gave his only begotten son. Uh, that he gave his only, as we know that, he gave his only begotten son. It's so nice. We got to hear it twice. Uh, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Romans 5, 8, right? For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. Uh, that's over in Luke 9:56. Now he that believeth on is not, or believeth on him is not condemned. Ah, uh, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. And this is the condemnation that light has come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For every one that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved or exposed. As he claims here, or says here, uh, and is saying here, they shall be exposed. There you go. Uh, so, as he says, uh, but he that doeth truth cometh to the light, that his deeds may be made manifest that they are wrought in God. After these things came Jesus and the disciples unto the land of Judea, and there tarried with him three uh, there let's see with them, uh, and baptized. And John also was baptizing in Anon near to Salim, because there was much water there, and they came, as he says, uh, and were baptized. 
uh, for Samuel 9, 4. For John is, was not yet cast into prison. Matthew 14, 13 on that one, friends. There you go on there. Now, 25, then there arose a question between some of the Jews, or John's disciples and the Jews about purifying. And they came unto John and said unto him, Rabbi, uh, he that was with thee beyond Jordan, to whom who or thou bearest witness, behold, the same baptizeth, and all men come to him. John 1, 7. Now John answered and said, A man can receive nothing except it be given him from heaven. Ye yourselves bear me witness that I said I am not the Christ, but that I am sent before him. Malachi, that's Malachi. <laughs> Malachi right there, uh, 3 1. Let's go to 29. Now, he that hath the bride is the bridegroom, but the friend of the bridegroom which standeth and heareth him rejoices greatly because of the bridegroom's voice. This my joy, therefore, is fulfilled. Second Solomon 5 1. Church, come on now. He must increase, but I must decrease. All right, 31, he that cometh from above is above all, and he that is of the earth is earthly, and speaketh of the earth, and he that cometh from heaven is above all. Uh, and what he has seen and heard, that he testifieth, and no man receiveth his testimony. He that hath received his testimony is set to seal that God is true. Uh, Romans 3, 4, for he whom God hath, uh, sent speak of the words of God, but God giveth not the Spirit by measure unto him. John 1 16. The Father loveth the Son, and hath given all things into his hand. Now he that believeth on the Son that everlasting or hath everlasting life, as we know. Uh, and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abideth on him. There you go. What a what awesome words there, friends. I tell you. Amen. All right, bear with me. Watching uh, monitors. I, again, lost Channel 4 for about 20 minutes or so, and it kind of finally just popped back up. So that's, uh, that's a good thing. All right, again, friends, we'll see how things go tomorrow afternoon or tomorrow night. I, I don't know. I may change it out. I, I've had to take some of this stuff out and, and change it out. So uh, if I get an opportunity tomorrow afternoon, I might uh, go ahead and uh, just reset stream, uh, StreamYard TV. We're going to get back on track eventually here. Uh, still, like I said, I have major issues with the Wi-Fi, but. We'll see how things go. It's sad. it's going to be the weekend. I want to get uh, some early while I have an opportunity. I, I just want to get an early uh, set of broadcasts in or podcasts in as best I can for you. Get that uh, live. Amen. All right. Double checking monitors on channel three, two or three here. Making sure my headset's straight. Uh, amen. I never know until I get on and see it. Uh yeah, so again, just changing things out, trying to get back uh, somewhat on track anyway with you. Well, here on the channel, I'm trying to get things straightened out again. Uh, and as I was talking with a friend of mine, another pastor, I uh, said, now is not the time to quit. Now is the time to step up and keep moving. And I got to remember that too, my friends. I, I, I'm a little discouraged, a little de uh, dejected. Uh, with things and uh, got to look at the bigger picture. Keep your eyes on the prize. So I've given myself my own advice. <laughs> Amen. All right. Well, anyway, uh, we are going to keep moving here, friends. So thank you. Thanks so much again. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm going to I got things set up till the 16th or 17th of the month. So uh, we are just at the 12th, so uh, I'm going to kind of see how things go and see what's happening with everything and uh, hopefully get uh, be able to get back on track here. So stick around. <clears throat> stick around. <coughs> and as like I said always, if you see a post up on the Facebook or on the channels and I take it down, I did that. Nobody, it wasn't taken off uh, like that. I'm, 
I just reset it. So uh, you'll know. You'll, you'll know when I'm on. So thank you guys again. I, I do appreciate that. Um, let's see what we got. More scriptures. Lots more scriptures. We're just in our first hour here. Uh, that's uh, about six here. So got a little bit more for you. Perhaps we do. Uh, amen. All right. So we're going to go to the next one. Next scripture over. And it's a long one. We've got four chapters here for you. So I, I want to make sure I give you lots of scriptures to read, my friends. Always a good thing. Right? Always a good thing. Amen. All right. There it is. So go to your Bibles. I hope you have them. Friends, we're in church, so I hope you got, got them with you. Uh, we got uh, Philippians chapters 1 through 4. I do want to share those with you, and I do want to read them out with you. So while you guys find them, uh, I'm going to check some updates here. Amen. All right, checking the channels here. And all right, thanks again for joining me here today, early Friday, uh, on your weekend edition podcast here. Always appreciate you guys dropping by the studio here. Right, and again, thank you guys for the new uh, new subscribers. That's really awesome. Uh, and the old old school guys, you, you guys are awesome. I appreciate your your patience and your prayers here. Uh, been rough, friends. Been been pretty rough, but uh, we're still here, doing God's work, friends. Doing God's business here. All right, well, let's uh, let's keep going. And like I said, friends, um, where are we at here? We're at Philippians. I'm going to go through one through four. We've done this plenty of times on the podcast, but I want to make sure uh, that we go into this again. Uh, you know, as uh, as we see here, I want to I want to make sure that we get this. So, bless you guys for hanging out. Uh, chapter 1, Philippians. We're going to go through 1 through 4 here on this. Uh, again, thank you guys for joining me. Pastor at Ministry Podcast Network live on Restream TV for our early or late uh, Friday afternoon uh, podcast here. Live in Studio A. In the heat. I know it's it's grinding, but you got to keep pushing through, friends. Drink, drink lots of water out there. Or coffee, you know, if you like coffee. Amen. All right, Philippians chapter 1 through 4. Let's go to 1. Uh, again, he says here, uh, Paul and Timotheus, the servants of Jesus Christ, to all the saints of Christ Jesus, which are at Philippi, with the bishops and deacons, 1 Corinthians 1, 2, grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God uh, upon every remembrance of you, always in every prayer and mine of mine, for you, all making requests with joy. For your fellowship in the gospel from the first day until now, uh, being confident in this very thing that he which hath begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Even as it is meet for me to think this of you all, because I have you in my heart, inasmuch as both in my bonds and in the defense and confirmation of the gospel, now ye are all partakers of my grace. 2 Corinthians 3, 2, Ephesians 3, 1. For God is my record, how greatly I long after you, all in the bowls of Jesus Christ. All right, uh, Romans 1, 9. And this I pray that your love may abound yet more and more in knowledge and in all judgment that ye may approve things that are excellent, that ye may be sincere and without offense till the day of Christ. Uh, let's see. Now, 11, being filled with the fruits of righteousness. Let's see. Let's get that note straightened out and taken care of. Uh, which are by Jesus Christ and the glory and the praise of God. John 15, 4, Ephesians 1, 12. Uh, but I would ye should understand, brethren, that the things which happen unto me have fallen out rather under the furtherance of the gospel, so that my bonds in Christ are manifest in all, uh, 
all the palace and in all other places. Philippians 4.22 And many and many of the brethren in the Lord, waxing confident by my bonds, by my bonds, there it is, are much more bold to, the, uh, to speak the word without fear. All right. Uh, let's see. Some indeed preach Christ even of envy and strife. All right. Uh, let's see. And some also of goodwill. Philippians 2 3. The one preach Christ of contention, not sincerely supposing to add affliction to my bonds, but the other of love, knowing that I am set for the, de uh, the defense of the gospel. Philippians 1 7. What then? He says. What then? Ah, uh, let's see. Notwithstanding every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ is preached. And I therein do rejoice, yea, and will rejoice. For I know that this shall turn to my salvation through your prayer and the supply of the Spirit of Jesus Christ, according to my earnest expectation and my hope. All right, that in uh, nothing. She says nothing. What? Nothing. I shall be ashamed. Amen. But that with all boldness as always, so now also Christ shall be magnified in my body, whether it be life, by life, or by death. For to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. Ah, uh, but if I live in the flesh... Uh, he says, uh, this is the fruit of my labor, yet what I shall choose, I want not. I know, don't get, don't get lost in here. This is, this is kind of, uh, threw me off at first too, but, uh, I kind of went back over it and reread it a couple of times. So, uh, let's see, let's get that down there. All right. Pick it up on channel three here. So that's why I want that, uh, I want that dialed in. See where is it at here? There it is. All right, so we're dialed in and tuned in here. Oh, mercy, my friends. Give me a second here. Let me dial in my clocks here. Um. Okay. Let's uh let's keep going. As I was just kind of running through the chapter here. Um. Let's see. All right, so 23, we're in one. Let's go to 23 again and, and kind of move along over here. Uh, for I am in a strait betwixt two, having a desire to depart and to be with Christ, which is far better, and nevertheless to, be, uh, to abide in the flesh is more needful for you. And having this confident, or confidence, I know that I shall abide and continue with you uh, he says here, uh, let's see, with all, or with you all for your furtherance and joy of the faith. Philippians 2, 4, that your rejoicing may be more abundant in Jesus Christ for me uh, by my coming to you again. Only let your conversation be as it becometh the gospel of Christ. But whether I come and see you or else be absent, I may bear, uh, let's see, let me go back over this. Uh, I may hear of all your affairs that ye stand fast in one spirit, with one mind striving together for the faith of the gospel, 1 Corinthians 1.10. And nothing terrified uh, by your adversaries, which is to them an evident token of perdition, but to you of salvation and that of God. For unto you it is given under the behalf of Christ, not only to believe on him, but also to suffer for his sake. All right, and we've got something going on with this. Bear with me here. i got to fix this. So we're in 30 as we uh, look at striving and suffering for Christ in front of us. And and we do. I uh, I I don't I don't know about y'all, but we we do some suffering for Christ, friends. You know, uh, we, we sacrifice a lot. We we you know give up a lot more. I think personally, uh, we we give up a lot as as Christians, uh, as followers. You know, it's, it's but it's I would say, 
uh, and and I I had to keep things in perspective, uh, friends. That uh, in the long run it's it's better, but uh, it we we do we do us some suffering, friends. Uh, you know, as our Lord and Savior did for us. So I'm just putting it out there. I'm just saying, <laughs> man. Well, we got to keep you know we keep striving here, friends. So as he says in 30, he says, having the same conflict which you saw in him and now here to be in me or saw in me uh, and now here to be in me. Uh, Acts 16, 19. There you go. All right, let's move on to uh, what? Chapter 2 here uh, in the book of Philippians. We continue our late Friday evening podcast. It's awesome. I'm glad to be here with you. Glad to be here with y'all. All right. Amen. All right. Chapter two. Stretch out, friends. Relax. Take a breath. We're going to be all right. We're going to get through it. So, as he said in chapter two, verse one, if there be therefore any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowls and mercies, fulfill ye my joy that ye uh, be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord and of one mind. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind let each esteem other better than themselves. Look not every man on his own thing, but every man also on things of others. First Corinthians uh, ten twenty four. There, let this mind be in you, uh, which was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, thought it not robbery uh, to be equal with God. John one uh, one one. Second Corinthians four four. There but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men. Psalm 22, verse 6. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the, the death of the cross. Wherefore God also hath highly exalted him and given him a name, folks, which is above every name. We know that, amen. All right, uh, let's do some notes again. That at the name of Jesus, friends, check this out. I got to raise up my microphone on this one and shout it to the rooftops and just shout it out loud here, friends. We got to do that right now. He says in verse 10 that at the name of Jesus Christ, at the name of Jesus, right, every knee should bow of things in heaven and things in earth, and things under the earth. Even the devil knows his name. Even the devil has to ask permission. So I'm just saying, throw it out there. All right, 11. And that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, friends, to the glory of God the Father. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as my presence only, or in my presence, uh, only, but how much more am I absent? Work out your own salvation, church. He says, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Just saying. Work it out. <laughs> right? For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Second Corinthians 3, 5. Do all things without murmurings and disputings. Romans 14, 1 that ye may be blameless and harmless, the sons of God. Let me fix this spot real quick here. I didn't, boy, I missed a boat on that one, didn't I? Uh, so the uh, the sons of God without rebuke. All right. Uh, let's see. In the midst of a crooked and perverse nation. I'm saying right there. Uh, among ye shine as lights in the world. All right. Holding forth uh, the word of life, that I may rejoice in the day of Christ. <laughs> Amen. Just kind of adjusting here. 
All right. Uh, let's see. Hold it. Let's see. What was they at here? In the midst of a crooked and perverse nation among ye shine as lights in the world. All right. Let's move on to 16. Holding forth the word of life that I may rejoice in the day of Christ that I have not run in vain. All right. And neither labored in vain. Yea, and if I be offered upon the sacrifice and service of your faith, I joy and rejoice you all, or with you all. For the same cause also do ye joy and rejoice with me. But I trust in the Lord Jesus. All right, to send Timothy shortly unto you, that I also may be a good comfort when I know your state, Romans 16, 21. For I have no man like-minded who will naturally care for your state. For all seek their own, not the things which are Jesus Christ. But ye know the proof of him, that as a son with the Father he has served with me in the gospel. Him, therefore, I hope to send presently, so soon as I shall see how it will go with me. All right. Uh, but I trust in the Lord that I also myself shall come shortly. And yet I suppose it necessary to send you to Aphrodite, my brother, uh, or send you to you, uh, a companion in labor and fellow soldier. But your messenger uh, and he that ministered to my want, 2 Corinthians 8, 23, for he longed after you all uh, and was full of heaviness because that he had heard that he had been sick. For indeed he was sick. All right, so he had he was sick, he says here, because that he had heard that he had been sick. Let's go on to 27. Uh, <laughs> no words, can't even say it. <laughs> All right, uh, 27, for he... He indeed, uh, he was sick, nine, to death, but uh, God had mercy on him. Uh, not on him only, but on me also, lest I should have sorrow upon sorrow. I sent him, therefore, the more carefully, that when you see him again, you may rejoice, and that I may be the less sorrowful, receive him, <clears throat> I, all right, so let's see. Do, 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 do. Receive him in verse 29. Therefore, in the Lord, with all gladness, and hold such in reputation, because for the work of Christ, hang on, I'm getting that malogy thing again. I'm doing a little bit outside work, and the uh, weather's changing again. All right, uh, let's see. Uh, receive him. Let's go to 29 again. Therefore, in the Lord, with all gladness, and hold such in reputation, because for the work of Christ he was nigh unto death, not regarding his life, but supply your lack of service toward me. All right, bear with me. Uh, where is it at? What did I do with it? Amen. All right. Oh, sorry about that, friends. I, I had to, I had to clean up there. Sweating, it's hot. I told you in the studio, it's it's uh, it's really really warm. I uh, really uh, really hot up here. All right, give me a second here. I'm gonna re-add the uh, the second clip, the second mic clip. Uh, I have one, and uh, it is uh, it's recording on the other the other extra here. So bear with me a second here. All right, so I got to put on the extra clip. Uh, and that's why I have this one because this has actually a microphone plugged into the other, the other uh, recording. So as again, I'm multi-recording here. But, uh, all right, wanted to do the additional expansion. It's pretty awesome stuff. All right, we got chapter three as we continue here. Uh, chapter three of uh, Philippine, Philip, Philippians. Philippians. I know. I said that at first. I, in the beginning, I was really at the early, early stages. I get these names mixed up so bad. I was still in school and not learned as, you know, not knowing as much as I do now. But I was getting the names wrong, and it was bad. I, I you guys don't need to know about all, or hear about all that. But anyway, 
I was getting the names mixed up, getting the roars mixed up, throwing up, getting thrown off. Uh, I and so I stepped out of the picture for a long time, and and worked on stuff and studied and studied and studied endless reading, endless times. I uh, and so every once in a while I do a slip there, but y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all get it. Y'all know what I mean. So thank you guys again. I uh, I do appreciate each and every one of you out there. Thank you so much. All right, let's try again Philippians. There you go in chapter 3. So, finally, finally, my brethren, <laughs> rejoice in the Lord to write the same things to you. To me, indeed, is not grievous, but for you it is safe. Beware of dogs. Oh, he says, beware of dogs. Beware of evil workers. Oh, what do we got? Beware of the concision. For we are the circumcision which worship God in the spirit and rejoice in Christ Jesus. Uh, he, he says, uh, and have no confidence in the flesh. And though I might also have confidence in the flesh, if any other man thinketh that he hath, whereof he might trust in the flesh, I more, he says. Uh, circumcised the eighth day of the stock of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, and Hebrew of the Hebrews, uh, as touching the law, a Pharisee. Genesis uh, seventeen twelve. there, verse 6, concerning zeal, persecuting the church, touching the righteousness, which is in the law, blameless. But what things were gained to me, those I counted loss for Christ. Yea, doubtless, and I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ, Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things. All right. All right. Uh, let's see. Verse 8. Yeah, yeah, yea, doubtless, I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ, uh, Christ Jesus my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things, and do count them out, dung, that I may win Christ. There it is. All right. Ah, verse 9. That's what's on the menu next here, friends. As we're just going at the top of the hour, you're still live, Pastor Rick, Ministry Podcast Network, uh, live on Restream TV. Zooming it back to you, friends. Taking care of our Father's business. Amen. All right. Along with blog, talk, radio, and so much more. It's endless it's awesome all right again uh allergies are kicking back up amen all right let's see if we can keep going here that i may know him the power of resurrection the fellowship of his suffering uh being made comfortable or conformable unto his death by a, if by any means i might attain unto the resurrection of the dead not as though I had already attained, uh, either were already perfect, but I follow after that which that I may apprehend, that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. There it is. Let me get some water here. I think that's the, the issue. I've got the coffee and everything, but I got my extra backup of of uh of some water here. I think that might help a little bit better. I do have my jugs of water back here, too, just in case. Uh, I'm telling you, friends, it's it's over 100 here. We're, we're dealing with a heat wave. I don't know where you guys are at, but it's it's pretty hot. So I've got my water set aside uh, just in case. Right? I always take my coffee, but I don't mind the water. Water's good for you. Drink plenty of water. It's hot. <laughs> hey, man, let's keep going. As we look at the high calling of God here, friends, you're, you're here live on the studio, uh, studio A as we continue our Bible study. All righty, let's go. Uh, attain the resurrection of the dead or unto the resurrection of the dead, not as though I had already attained and neither were already perfect, but I follow after, if that I may apprehend, that for which also uh, 
Let's see, also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Now, brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do. All right, um, let's see. Those, let's see, uh, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth into those things which are before. Psalm 45, 10. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God uh, of God in Christ Jesus. 2 Timothy 4, 7. There we go. All right, uh, let's get that straight. Now let us, therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded, and if anything ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. Nevertheless, where to we have already attained, let us walk by the same rule, let us mind the same thing, and brethren be followers together of me, and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an sample. For many walk, of whom I have told you often, and now fell, uh, let's see, and tell you, there it is, uh, even weeping. And are they that are the enemies of the cross of Christ, Galatians 1, 7, whose end is destruction, whose God is their belly, and whose glory is their shame, and mind earthly things. Jose uh, 4, 7, for our conversation is in heaven. For whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall change your or our vile body, that it may be fashioned like unto glorious, uh, his glorious body, according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. Chapter 4. Let's roll on in Philippians. Therefore, my brethren, dear little beloved, long for my joy and crown. Uh, so stand fast in the Lord, my dearly beloved. I beseech Yodius, I beseech Sintashe, that they be of the same mind in the Lord. And I entreat thee also, true yoke fellow, help these women which labored with me. Uh, let's see. Uh, all right. Uh, in the gospel, with Clement also, with others, my fellow laborers, whose names are in the book of life. Exodus thirty-two, thirty-two, Daniel 12, 1. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. And be careful for nothing. Ah, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Psalm fifty-five twenty-two, And the peace of God which passeth all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds uh, through Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are uh, honest, right? Uh, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, uh, whatsoever things are of a good report. Uh, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do, the God of peace shall be with you. Uh, Romans 15, 33. But I rejoiced in the Lord, friends, greatly, that now at the last you care of me that flourished again, or have flourished again, wherein you were also careful, but you lacked opportunity. 2 Corinthians 11, 9. Not that I speak in respect of want, for I have learned in whatsoever state I am therewith to be content. First Timothy 6, 6 on that. I know both how to be abased and I know how to abound. Everywhere in all things I have instructed both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer need. Friends, you got to say it loud as you can. I can do all things through Christ, which strengtheneth me. Amen. All right, notwithstanding, you have well done that you did my communi uh, did communicate with my affliction. Philippians 1, 7 there. Let's move up here. Uh, now, you Philippians, know also that in the beginning of the gospel, when I departed from Macedonia, no church communicated with me as concerning giving and receiving. Again, talking about uh, tithing. Uh, there, friends. Uh, so he says, but, be, but ye only, 2 Corinthians 11, 8. Uh, for even in Thessalonica, ye sent once and again unto my necessity, not because I desire a gift. He says, I, not, I don't desire a gift. 
All right. Uh, he says, but I desire fruit that may abound to your account. Romans 15, 28. But I have all and abound. I am full, having received of Ephrodias the things which were sent from you, an odor of a sweet smell, a sacrifice acceptable and well-pleasing to God. Corinthians uh, 9, 12 on that one, I think. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches in glory uh, by Jesus Christ. Now unto God and our Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. Salute every saint in Christ Jesus, the brethren which are with me greet you. Galatians uh, or, yeah, Galatians 1, 2. All the saints salute you, chiefly they that are of Caesar's household. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Amen on that one, right, friends? Amen. That's good stuff. Amen. All right. Uh, let's see what we got on time-wise. I think we're okay there. About two hours, uh, which is pretty pretty normal. Uh, usually, generally about two hours anyway. Uh, you know. All right. So I think we got a few more maybe for you. All right, uh, let's see, Philippians, friends. Right. Backtrack here just a little bit. All right. Okay, give me a second. We're going to get to the next scripture. I can. Uh, amen. Just a little, little bit here, but uh, we're gonna be all right. So, um, just bear with me, guys. Just bear with me. Anyway. All right. So, think Zephaniah. I think that's where we're at. Uh, Zephaniah chapters one through three fronts. And again, we're just at our just about two hours here. So I think one or two. Uh, mercy, I, I think it's the, the allergies again that are kicking in. Uh, all right. So, um, yeah, Zephaniah, let's let's go there. And uh, when you get it, just holler. Just give, give me a big amen on that one, friends. I, 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 I appreciate that. All right, so Zeph and I talk about end times. Uh, this is, again, the ninth book of the Minor Prophets, uh, as most of you guys know or, or already know that. Uh, we're, we're in the Minor Prophets a little bit here, just sharing some of the words. So let's read it. Uh, again, the end times, talking about that a lot, uh, just to be aware of, uh, of, you know, heads up here. Uh, amen. So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to look at that, let that uh, take care of itself. Uh, amen. All right, so let's go. Chapter 1, Zephaniah. Let's go ahead and read that. Now, the word of the Lord which came unto Zephaniah, the son of Cushai, the son of Gedaliah, the son of Amariah, uh, the son of Hezekiah in the days of Josiah, the son of Ammon, king of Judah. Friends, he was. I still don't... <laughs> like the arrangement on the microphone. Ah, one of these years, one of these decades, maybe I'll get that straightened out. All right, so as uh, we're in verse two here, I will utterly consume all things from off the land, saith the Lord. I will consume man and beast. I will consume the fowls of the heaven, the fishes of the sea, and the stumbling blocks with the wicked, and I will cut off man from off the land, saith the Lord. And he talks about idols too. You know, we're we're not supposed to worship idols. That's not a good thing. So, uh, as he says here and continues in verse four, I will also stretch out my band upon Judah, the band of all uh, inhabitants of Jerusalem, and I will cut off the remnant of Baal from his place in the name of the Kemarans with the priests. Second Kings twenty three four. And them that worship the host of heaven upon the housetops, and them that worship that swear by the Lord, uh, and there's and swear by Malcolm, uh, see Joshua twenty three seven, 
And them that are turned back from the Lord and those that have not sought the Lord nor inquired of him. Isaiah 1 4. Hold thy peace at the presence of the Lord God, for the day of the Lord is at hand. For the Lord hath prepared a sacrifice, he hath bid his guests. And it shall come to pass in the day of the Lord's sacrifice that I will punish the princes and the king's children and all such as are clogged with strange apparel. Jeremiah 39, 6. And the same day also will I punish all those that leap on the threshold which fill their master's houses in, uh, with violence and deceit. And we're at our two hours, friends. Can you believe that? Two hours again. That's awesome. All right. In the same day, let's get back to the verse or scriptures here. We've got a little bit more to cover here. Now, in the same day, also, will I punish all those that leap on the threshold, which fill their master's houses, again, with violence and deceit. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord, that there shall be the noise of a cry from the fish gate and from the howling from the second and a great crashing from the hills. Uh, how ye inhabitants of Mactash, for all the merchant people are cut down and all they that bear silver are cut off. And it shall come to pass at that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on the lease. That say in their heart, the Lord will not do good, nor uh, will he do evil. All right, 13. Therefore, the goods, their goods shall become a booty and their houses a desolation. They shall also build houses, but not inhabit them. And they shall plant vineyards, uh, but do not drink. Uh, the wine thereof, Deuteronomy 28, 30. The great day of the Lord is near. It is near. And it hasteth greatly, even the voice of the day of the Lord. Uh, right. Uh, the mighty man shall cry therefore bitterly. Joel 2, 1. The day, friends, that day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, a day of wasteness and desolation. A uh, day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness, a day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers, and I will bring distress upon men. We're already, I told you, we're already seeing these are clear signs of the end times. We've got to pay attention and be awake of these end times, friends. I know. He says right here in 17, I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord and their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as the dung. All right, so that's uh, Deuteronomy 28, 29 there on that one. Now 18, neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath, but the, the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. For he shall make even a speedy riddance of all them that dwell in the land. That's Proverbs 11, 4, chapter 2. In Zephaniah, friends. The second hour here, you're live on the air. Appreciate you stopping by. Now, gather yourselves together. Uh, yea, gather together, O nation, that, uh, let's see, O nation not desired, or desirous, as it says in the notes here. we got Joel 2, 16. Uh, before the decree bring forth, before the day passes the chaff, before the fierce anger of the Lord come upon you, and before the day of the Lord, uh, or Lord's anger comes upon you, seek ye the Lord, all ye meek of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. Uh, he says, it may be, Ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. For Gaza shall be forsaken in Ashkelon a desolation. They shall drive out Ashdod of the noon, at noonday, and Ekron shall be rooted up. Woe unto the inhabitants of the seacoast, the nation of the Cherites. Got to sound it out, friends. Uh, the nation of the Cherites, the word of the Lord is against you. O Canaan. 
Ah, the land of the Philistines, I will even destroy thee, that there shall be no inhabitants. Ah, and a seacoast shall be dwellings and cottages for shepherds and folds for flocks, and the coast shall be for the remnant of the house of Judah. They shall feed there upon the house of Ashkelon. They shall lie down in the evening, for the Lord their God shall visit them and turn away their captivity. Exodus forty or four thirty one and Isaiah eleven eleven. There, uh, let's go on to eight. I have heard the reproach of Moab, the revilings of the children of Ammon, whereby they have reproached my people and magnified themselves against their border. Now, therefore, as I live, saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel. Uh, surely Moab shall be as Sodom and the children of Ammon as Gomorrah. Uh, even the breeding of nettles and salt pits of perpetual desolation, the residue of my people shall spoil them and the revenant, uh, remnant of my people shall possess them. This shall they have for their uh, pride because they have reproached and magnified themselves against the people of the Lord of hosts. Let's go to 11 here. The Lord will be terrible unto them, for he will famish all the gods of the earth, and the men shall worship him. Uh, every one from his place, even all the isles of the heathen, yea, Ethiopians also, ye shall be slain by my sword. And he will stretch out his hand against the north and destroy Assyria. It will make Nineveh a desolation. Uh, and dry like a wilderness. And flocks shall lie down in the midst of her, all the beasts of the nations. Both the uh, cormorants and the bittern shall judge in the upper lintels of it. And their voice shall sing in the windows. Desolation shall be in the thresholds. For he shall uncover the cedar work. Uh, or pelican, as he says here in the notes there. Uh, Isaiah 13, 21 on that one. And uh, 15, this is the rejoicing city that dwelt carelessly. That said in, in her heart, I am, and there is none beside me. How has she become a desolation, a place for, uh, for beasts to lie? Uh, down and in, every one that passeth by her shall hiss and wag his hand. Job twenty-seven twenty-three, Lamentations two fifteen. Let's go on to twenty-three, Zephaniah here in the second hour of the broadcast, friends. Good to be here with you. Now, woe to her that is filthy and polluted to the oppressing city. She obeyed not the voice, she received not correction, and she trusted not in the Lord. She drew near not to her God, Jeremiah 5, 3 there. Uh, 3, her princes within her are roaring lions. Her judges are evening wolves. They gnaw not the bones till the morrow, Ezekiel twenty two twenty seven. 27. Her prophets are light and treacherous persons. Uh, her priests have polluted the sanctuary. They have done violence to the law. Jeremiah 23, 11. The, uh, the just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to light. He faileth not. But the unjust knoweth no shame. Deuteronomy 32, verse 4 there. I have cut off the nations. Their towers are desolate. I made their streets waste that none passeth by their cities are destroyed. So that there is no man, that there is none inhabitants. I said, surely thou wilt fear me. Thou will receive instruction. So the dwelling should not be cut off. Howsoever I punish them, but they rose early and corrupted all their doings. Therefore wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until the day that I rise up to the prey. Uh, for my determination is to gather the nations, that I may assemble the kingdoms, to pour upon them mine indignation, even all my fierce anger, for all the earth shall be devoured with the fire of my jealousy. 
for then I will turn to the people um, a pure language that they may all call upon the name of the Lord to serve him. All right, so let's see, uh, with one consent, and that's Isaiah 19, verse 18, friends, if you're looking up that one, that is the side verse for that uh, that verse right there. So let's uh, keep going. We got God in the midst, uh, and I got, like I said, one or two, maybe. We'll see. It's, we, got, we got a good two hours in already. Let's go to verse 10. Uh, as I said, God in the midst, friends. Where other two or three are gathered, God's in the midst. He's all right in the powwow right there, friends. He's in the He's in the middle of it. Amen. Verse ten: From beyond the rivers of Ethiopia, my suppliants, even the daughter of my dispersed, shall bring mine offering. Psalm sixty-eight thirty-one. In that day shalt thou not be ashamed for all my doings, all thy doings, wherein. Thou hast transgressed against me. For then, let's go here. For then I will take away out of the midst of thee them that rejoice in thy pride. And thou shalt no more be haughty because of my holy mountain. I will also leave in the midst of thee an afflicted and poor people. And they shall trust in the name of the Lord. Isaiah 14.32 the remnant of Israel or Israel shall not do iniquity, nor speak lies, neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth, for they shall feed uh, and lie down, and none shall make them afraid. Isaiah sixty verse twenty one, Micah four four. Ah, uh, sing, O daughter. Uh, let's see, of Zion, shout, Israel, be glad and rejoice with all the hearts, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord hath taken away their judgment. He hath cast out thine enemy, the king of uh, Israel. Even the Lord is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt not see evil any more. In that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, fear thou not, and to Zion, let not. Thine hands be slacked or slack. The Lord thy God in the midst of thee is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will joy over thee with singing. Uh, Deuteronomy 30 verse 9. Jeremiah 32 verse uh, 41 there. All right, I will gather them that are sorrow for the for the solemn assembly who are of thee, to whom the reproach of it was burden. Behold, at that time I will undo all that afflict thee, and I will save her that halteth and gathereth, her that uh, was driven out. All right. Uh, let's see. And I will get them praise and fame in every land, well, they have been put to shame, Ezekiel thirty four sixteen, And at the time, I will bring you again, he says. Even in the time that I gather you, for I will make you a name and a praise among all people of the earth when I turn back to your captivity before yourselves, or turn back your captivity uh, before yourselves, saith the Lord. Amen. All right, Zephaniah. Again, kind of rolling, uh, friends, rolling back into the uh, minor prophets. So I wanted to kind of go back into that and keep digging through that, uh, friends, as we know. Uh, all right, so turn over there. Uh, we got a few more, uh, my friends. We, we have just a few more. Let's see, maybe swap that out with this one, close out. Again, kind of rewriting some notes here real quick. I wanted to maybe add uh, one more to the podcast here. It's just a quick one. Uh, amen. So let's uh, let's maneuver again, friends. Again, we're kind of quarter after, so uh, I think we're okay to close out. Uh, but I never know. Let's, clear. let's get that cleaned up and taken care of here. And 
lots of notes, but that's all right. I don't mind. I, I really don't mind. It's pretty awesome. All right, so maybe if I maneuver some notes again. I don't want to do that. We might go to full, uh, Philemon. <laughs> it just sounded out because it uh, sounds like, you know, something else, but uh, we're going to, we'll go to Philemon. Um, let's see, we'll do one more quick verse, uh, one through 25, maybe. All right, um, let's see. Bear with me, guys. Hold on, I'm just rewriting again. I gotta rewrite my notes. I do. All right. Uh, so let's see. Let's close out with that. How about how about that? How about we close out with Philemon, uh, chapter one, one through twenty-five here. Uh, maybe go to it so I can find it. That would be good. And maybe we'll close out. Yep, it is actually it's acting up. Um, boy, I don't want to lose this broadcast. Uh, let's just close out now, friends. I think we're okay. I don't want to lose the broadcast. It's flipping through the Wi-Fi again. Uh, and I, I don't want to, I don't want to lose the, uh, the broadcast that we had, uh, at all. I, we've already been over two hours. So let's, um, let's close out here. I'll, uh, kind of wait till it kicks back in again, uh, a little bit here. Uh, but yeah, let's close out. We'll do, we'll just close out the broadcast. Let me go to, uh, radio.co UK, pastor at ministry podcast network for friday night the 12th here of uh, july already uh, our late broadcast here so glad to be here with you i'll talk to you on the next broadcast you guys take care and have a good one friends i'll see you soon let's close out channel three here uh amen on our backup channel on spreaker channel three amen see you soon friends take care you guys all right, folks, give me a minute. Uh, we are going to close out the channels here. I think I, I think we ought to just go ahead and drop out right now. Um, it's flickering kind of back and forth, and I don't want to lose this. I don't, like I said, I don't want to lose the broadcast. So, uh, Block Talk Radio. Hey, I'll see you on the next broadcast. You guys take care for the 12th here, Pastor Rick, Mr. Podcast Network. See you on the next one, friends. Take care, you guys. Thanks a lot. I always appreciate you. See you soon. Block Talk Radio. Talk to you soon. All right. And, of course, Spreaker Channel 1. I'll get this broadcast out. I'll uh, reload this to get this set up here. So you guys take care. 4 o'clock on the uh, 12th of July, late afternoon, uh, Bible Study Podcast, Lee Stream TV. I'm still your host, Pastor Rick, here, friends. See you soon. Take care, you guys. I'll get this loaded out and uh, posted out as soon as I can. Take care, you guys. Thanks a lot. I appreciate you. Restream TV, Twitch TV, you guys hold that thought. Just a quick second here. Talk to you soon.